Hi everybody, today I will make a radio control mini car using these components. I'll tell you exactly what we need during the video and provide you with all the links to all the equipment used in the video description box below. First, disassemble the mini car. I'll use these springs as shock absorbers. You need to bend them like this. This is how it should look. Take the spring and insert a washer in it. Then take a small screw and insert it into the hole from the other side. Take the wheel bracket of the car. Insert the screw. Screw it tightly with nuts and the powerful shock absorber is ready. Now we need to attach it to the bottom of the car. Before attaching the gear to the axle, you need to file down the axle at the two points where the screws will be fastened. Place the 20 tooth gear onto the motor and the 40 tooth on the rear rod. This will decrease the speed and increase the power. Don't forget to insert the belt. Insert the nut and screw through the opposite side of the spring the same way. Fasten with screws here. The shock absorber is now fully ready. Take two metal corners. I bought these at a furniture store. Drill holes where I've marked. Drill holes in the wheels using a 4 mm drill bit. Insert the screw into this hole. Fit the metal corner and the friction nut. It should be fixed tightly and won't unscrew during motion. I use two nuts to make a nut lock to hold it firmly in place. Now, attach the servo here and level it down a bit. Fasten the shock absorbers and the wheels. Make the rotation system. Now, we need to fix the servo at the same height as the metal corner. Here's what we have so far. Take the screw and insert it into the spring. Then, take the washer and put it inside the spring. Insert all this into the hole to complete the step. Increase the hole size in the servo horn to 3 millimeters. Take two strips of flexible but firm plastic and place them like this. Now the wheels can spin and rotate together. For the remote control, we'll use the Radiolink RC4G transmission with a gyroscope. The battery is a LiPo 11.1V with an XT60 plug. This motor has a 60A speed controller with a fan. I'll use red and blue LED lights with a standard plug through one of the channels. Fasten the electronic parts with double-sided tape. Connect the electronic parts to the receiver. Take the rotation servo wire and insert it into the first connector. Do it like it's shown here. First, the impulse signal, and then negative and positive ones, like so. Take the speed controller wire and plug it into the second connector the same way. Positive, negative, and controller. Connect the LED lights to the third connector the same way. Connect the motor cooling fan power wire like this. The speed controller isn't here, just the two wires, positive and negative.
Connect the motor to the speed controller and then the power for the controller. Turn on the transmitter and then use the switch to turn on the receiver. First, I fasten the LED to the metal corner and now I screw them to the car. Before testing, I'll connect the battery discharge indicator. Turn on the remote and then the car. This button changes the light mode. Let's check rotation. Left, then right. The motor also seems okay. I'm pleased with this job. I plan to make some changes to this project. The most important is to improve the gear type. This will increase the car's capacity and will not let the belt slip. If you enjoyed watching this video, click like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials in the future. And while I'm waiting for the gear arrival, and it's going to be 30 days, in the next video, I'll show you how to make a radio control plane. See you!